What's going on guys? It's your boy Ash Dragons and today's video is going to be another creative class video. Uh, today I'm uh, going to cover on the Dingo, the Digo LMG and this one was requested by one of my subscribers. Uh, they comment on the comment section. If you guys want a gun, want me to cover, let me know down in the comment section and we can see that in a possible upload in the future. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started on this setup. So guys, if you guys have not seen the last class setup video, that is the Pharaoh. I recommend you guys check that out if you guys like this Pharaoh except machine gun and want tips on that. I recommend you guys check that out. We'll leave a link in the description for you guys to view that video. Alright, so first off for this class setup, you're going to obviously need the Dingo. And for the Dingo site, we're going to put on a BOA site or BOA site, whatever you want to call it. The reason for this is because you are need to aim down uh, aim down sights and kind of be accurate with this gun as it has a faster rate of fire and plus so you can uh, get wall bands with this gun uh, with the BOA if you if the target goes like red uh, start shooting at that target and you eventually get hit markers through the windows and through doors and other structures or if they're wide open if it turns red just spray them down so yeah that's a huge advantage when using a BOA site for a dingo or any LNG to be exact so next you guys want to slap on the quick draw because you're gonna have need a fast reaction with the dingo and aim down sight speed so yeah I recommend you guys use a quick draw it's always nice to have a quick draw attachment on a lot of these guns so yeah uh, put on the quick draw attachment if you guys really want to use that all right, next what we have here is a suppressor. I, you guys are probably thinking like, what in the world, a suppressor on the LMG in Black Ops 3? Yes, yeah, it's not that bad as it sounds. Uh, the suppressor actually works well, especially because you want to be uh, not appear on the radar as much because with the LMG, you cause a lot of attention to the uh, people around you, uh, the enemies around you. And so yeah, I recommend you guys slap in a suppressor and it really don't hurt the gun that much. Uh, not at least in this gameplay and this gameplay I'm using the suppressor up here and I'm pretty I'm getting pretty pretty decent kills on here and actually like uh, using the suppressor with the LMGs and dingo so yeah I recommend you guys use that alright so the next attachment well not attachment perk you want to have is overkill we're gonna put on overkill because we're gonna use the haymaker as you guys can see in this gameplay right here I am using a haymaker and the re real good reason for using a haymaker or not even a haymaker, you could use a brecci if you guys want. Uh, reason for that is because you're going to have to, there's going to be times where you're going to have to reload with this LMG. So while you caught reloading, you can, uh, and so, uh, enemy comes up to you, you can always pull out that haymaker or that uh, brecci and just go, go ham on them. Or if you don't, um, or you feel like you're not going to get the kill with the LMG, you always switch to a haymaker and brecci it would go it would go wonders for you guys and you guys would pretty much enjoy it especially if people are playing aggressively and going up close to your face pull out the haymaker and it it would do the work for you pretty, I tr trust me on this one guys it would do the work for you guys and also you're gonna have to put in the fast max it well you can put on anything else you want and uh, this is just a free slot I put on fast max you can put on grenades Grenades, uh, concussion, anything else you guys want. I chose to put on fast mag on my uh, haymaker or brecci if you guys prefer that. And yeah, it actually works good. Why not uh, reload faster with their shotgun? So yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna be using on this class setup. So as for perks, we're gonna start with the basic three perks from Black Ops 3, and that is the flat jacket, tap mask, and fast hands. Well, in my opinion, those are the basic three perks that I run. I don't know about what you guys run, but those three uh gonna work well for you guys we're gonna try to use flat jacket because um when you're using lmg or shotguns you're gonna get a lot of explosives people want to chuck grenades and c4s at you so pe be prepared for that we're gonna use the fast hands because fast hands uh are gonna make you you're gonna make you ready up your gun faster so you can have the upper hand with your shotgun or your lmg and that's going to do, do you some good in uh, combat and then we're going to do a tap mask tap mask because like I said, you're gonna be doing a lot of suppression, suppression, and people gonna throw concussions, flashbangs at you. Shot, you're gonna run to shot charges with your uh, shotgun. You don't want that to happen, so why not run tap masks and just fool the enemy and go through their uh, equipment. So as for specialists with this class setup, I will recommend you guys use uh, in, any specialist weapon you guys could use. Uh, size would be great. Uh, like I use right here in this gameplay, I'm using the war machine. War machine is great. 
uh, now later anything like any weapon is pretty good for this class that uh, you can't go wrong with what weapon you choose as for our specialist abilities it's not quite the same as uh, some uh, specialist abilities can be not working well for this class setup and I must list a few examples like uh, active camo wouldn't work well uh, I don't know you guys can try it out if I'm wrong but I wouldn't recommend active camo or overdrive or something like that uh, you could try psychosis so, psychosis is pretty good combat focus pretty good rack up on the streets with your LMG uh, pretty much just pretty much uh, try some Try some abilities that you will work with, that you feel like it'll work well with this class, and you'll be pretty much on point with this uh, class setup. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this class setup. If you guys found this useful, let me know down in the comment section. If you guys want to try this, let me know how it worked for you guys. Um, if you guys want to, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys want to uh, request um, a different class setup that you guys want me to cover, let me know down in the comment section, and I'll be more than happy to let you guys uh, know what to put on this class setup if you guys really enjoyed this video today why not leave a like a uh, thumbs up let's try to go for 10 likes today see if we can hit it today uh i've been noticing you guys pressing that hit button really hard lately so yeah let's see if we can get at least 10 likes and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and so, yeah guys it's been your boy ice dragons and i'll catch you guys later in the next video coming soon friendly has the satellite drone